I resolve to serve faithfully the spiritual needs of this local church. And with that, the most reverend Blaise Stupich, Omaha's own, rose to one of the most important posts in the Catholic Church. Our team covered the installation every step of the way from the event to talking with family who made the trip down for the big day. David was there in Chicago for the historic moment, a really proud moment for all of South Omaha. Yeah, a lot of people there in the cathedral, about a thousand packed holy wow. name right in downtown Chicago. It's this great cathedral uh, on the near north side of Chicago, just north of the Chicago River, surrounded by a lot of tall condo buildings there. And I was visiting with one of the uh, priests who's uh, Archbishop Supich's friend here in Omaha, and he said if it weren't for the seating capacity there at that cathedral, they'd be loading up buses here in South Omaha and making the trip down. I-80 to just pack it out. And you could tell from just watching some of that video how exciting it was there for everyone. Yeah, it was uh, really interesting for me covering this, just how exciting this was for everybody in Chicago. This was a uh, kind of a dark horse candidate here for uh, this position. And you could tell in this ceremony, which is you know, steeped in tradition, a lot of reverence here for this. Yeah. There were whistles, there were cheers, there were just 10 minutes of standing ovation when uh, Archbishop Supich became officially the new Archbishop of Chicago. Even some priests there with their smartphones. They had better smartphones than me. They were like carrying the iPhone 6 and yeah. all that stuff. <laughs> they were taking video and uh, just capturing the moment to relive over and over again. And what's been kind of fun about this, even since he was named for this position, is that he hasn't forgotten his roots right here in Omaha. No, in fact, even after that initial press conference where he was announced, the next thing he did was fly back home here to mm -hmm. Omaha and spend some time at Saints Peter and Paul. And uh, his coat of arms even pays tribute to his roots. We want to show you that here this morning. Here it is. See that little white line underneath the shepherd's staff there on the right side? That represents the Missouri River, of course, a tribute to Omaha here, the eastern border of the Omaha Archdiocese where he was ordained. And then the red and white checks there you see represent Croatia, the country his family came to Omaha from. And the green hat we're seeing will eventually become red? Yeah, that's what we're uh, told. Uh, the coat of arms for a cardinal has that red hat, and Archbishop has the green hat that, that we're seeing there. And the running theory here is that once Cardinal George, who is currently the cardinal in Chicago, reaches 80 years old and uh, uh, then is, of course, no longer a cardinal at that age, that the Pope will move very quickly and move uh, Archbishop Supich into that role. He would be the first cardinal ever from Nebraska, and then he would, of course, as a cardinal, get a vote for the next Pope. Long shot, he could become the next Pope as a cardinal as well, though that probably isn't going to happen. But, of course, a lot of pride for the Supich family and for South Omaha. Absolutely. And you've gotten to know the family pretty well. Eight brothers and sisters there and you got to talk with them? Yeah, it was incredible talking with all of them. Just a lot of pride and I thought it was funny. Another little glimpse into just how this family interacts. A large Catholic family from South Omaha. When uh, Blaze was at a breakfast Wednesday morning, he said his sister was baffled at all of the media attention. The exact quote from him, from her to him, she says, I just don't get it. You're not that interesting. Oh. <laughs> so obviously a little humor there from the siblings and of course some more humor that we see from Archbishop Supich. Very exciting. Very cool. We've got to go and cover that and that's all online at KETV.com. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, remember you can relive all that history. We've got we've posted Archbishop Supich's full homilies there and David's stories from the installation all there on our website. Yeah, very cool.